As discussed in other places in this DVD, Revit is not a CAD program, and as such, the majority of its files should be treated differently to every other program that you currently use. Many people are in the habit of using Windows Explorer to browse to a file, whether this is Word, Excel, or an AutoCAD file, and double-click on it to open it. While you can do this in Revit, the best practice is you actually use the interface to open the file you want. This might seem a bit strange at first, but especially if you're going to start working with several people on the same project, this is a necessary process that allows you to manage your project well. For this exercise, we're going to use the sample MEP project that's located in the common folder of your DVD. Click on Open and browse to your folder. Here's the common folder, and I'm going to open the sample MEP project. Before I click on Open, there's a couple of things I want to point out. You can see with the file highlighted that here's the file name. Now, this is a standalone project. If we were to introduce work sharing, which we will be discussing later on in this DVD, we would be opening a central file. And the whole purpose for using this open dialog box is to enable that work sharing is managed correctly. And we can then either detach our model from the central location or create a new local file. But in this instance, I'm just going to click on open and Revit will open the project file. You can see here that it's also brought in a linked file, which is the architectural model. Although kept in the common folder, this does not need to be kept in the same folder as your project file.